Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to do a few different types of IV drug calculations. I'll walk you through each question step by step to ensure you get full marks on your nursing math tests. Today we'll be using some of the formulas from my drug calculation formulas worksheet, which I'll place a link to in the video description. If you'd like, you can pause the video here to write out the formulas. Let's start with question number one. The physician's order reads, administer 1.5 liters of NS, or normal saline, IV over 12 hours. How many mils per hour of normal saline will the nurse administer? So this question is asking us to find mils per hour as our answer. And if we look back to our formula sheet, we can simply look through and find the formula that will give us an answer in mils per hour. And right here, we can see that we're looking for flow rate in mils per hour, which is equal to the total volume in milliliters divided by the total time in hours. So let's write out our formula. Next, we need to fill in our values for our formula so that we can solve it. But before we do this, we have to make sure that all of our units line up so that we have milliliters where we need them and hours where we need them. Again, our order reads that we have 1.5 liters of normal saline to infuse over 12 hours. So we'll need to convert 1.5 liters to milliliters. To do this, we simply multiply 1.5 liters times 1,000, which gives us an answer of 1,500 milliliters. Now we have milliliters and hours, which are the two units needed for our formula. Now we can fill it all in. So flow rate in mils per hour is equal to 1,500 milliliters divided by 12 hours. Dividing these two numbers gives us an answer of 125. One thing to always remember is to add your units to your answer to get full marks. So our flow rate is 125 mils per hour. That's the speed that the nurse will set the IV to run at. And moving on to question number two. This one will be slightly more difficult than the first. The physician's order reads, administer 90 milliliters of some medication IV over 45 minutes. How many mils per hour of medication will the nurse administer? For this question, we're looking for the same thing as the first question, flow rate in mils per hour. So let's write out our formula. Flow rate in mils per hour is equal to total volume in milliliters divided by the total time in hours. And again, before we can actually fill in the values to our formula, we have to ensure that the units match up. So in this question, we have 90 milliliters, which matches what we're looking for, but we are given 45 minutes instead of a certain number of hours. Now, because there are 60 minutes in one hour, to convert from minutes to hours, we simply divide by 60 minutes per hour. We take 45 minutes divided by 60 minutes per hour, the minutes will cross out and we're left with 0.75 hours. And now that we have milliliters and hours, we can fill in our formula. So the flow rate is equal to 90 mils divided by 0.75 hours, which gives us an answer of 120 milliliters per hour. And moving on to question number three, the physician's order reads, administer 500 milliliters IV normal saline over four hours. Calculate how many drops per minute to administer with a drop factor of 15 drops per mil. If we take another look at our formulas, we'll see that we can use this one right here, drop rate, which is calculated in drops per minute, and that's exactly what we need. So drop rate is equal to the volume in milliliters times the drop factor in drops per milliliter, all divided by the time in minutes. Right now we have 500 mils as a volume, and we were already given the drop factor in the question, which is 15 drops per milliliter. However, our time is four hours, and the formula requires time in minutes. So the first thing we need to do is convert four hours into minutes. This one is very easy to do. We simply multiply four hours by 60 minutes in an hour. The hours cross out, giving us an answer of 240 minutes. Now we're all set to fill in our formula. Drop rate in drops per minute is equal to 500 mils times 15 drops per mil, all divided by 240 minutes. If we multiply the top out first, we get 7,500 drops, all divided by 240 minutes, and now we can divide the top and bottom for an answer of 31.25 drops per minute. Our final step here will be to round off our answer. Now, for most nursing math, if the question does not specify what to round to, we tend to round to the nearest tenth, assuming the patient is an adult. However, when we calculate drop rate in drops per minute, we always round to the nearest whole number or to the nearest whole drop. 
This is because we can't realistically count 0.3 of a drop before it would fall from our IV set. So because our answer is 31.25, we look at the two, which is less than five, so we round down to 31 drops, giving us a final answer of 31 drops per minute. And just for example, if we had an answer of 31.6 drops per minute, we look at the 6, which is greater than or equal to 5, so we would have to round up to 32 drops per minute. And I think that's a good place to stop for this video. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to do some more nursing math videos, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.